Okay, now let's look at the grep command. So grep is another useful command that can be used to find the content within the file. So for instance, let's say you have a large text file and you would want to find certain specific name on the file and also would love to know, let's say, the line number of where that name exists. Well, you could use the grep command to do that. Let's learn this command. So I'm inside this desktop and I've got a few files in here. Um, and in this specific video, we'll be looking at these two info.txt as well as this uhs.txt file which contains some text data. So let's say inside of this uhs.txt, I would love to find certain specific text. So I'm going to write grep. So let's say I'm going to find the text of gems, but inside of this specific uhs.txt file. So I'm going to press enter. And there we go. It finds me not just the gems bot, but also gems butler. Turns out there are, well, two names starting with the gems bot. Now, if I want to find this, just this specific word, well, I write the w, um, hyphen w command in front. Okay, and now it's only going to boil it down to this specific. Now, if I open this file, okay, it contains the, this gems bot, but it also contains the uh, lowercase version of this specific name. So to find something that is case insensitive, okay, we write the hyphen i. I'm gonna press enter. Now it's showing both of them. Now what if I want to know where do they lie in the file? Let's say I would love to know the line number of that specific text. Well, I can write hyphen yan. Press enter and there we go. Line number one and six. Now let's say I would love to see the text after or before this specific line numbers. Well, I could use the command A for after and B for before. If I write, let's say, A and let's say two lines of text after it. Well, and there we go. It shows me two more lines of text after James Bot. And also sorry it for James Butler because I got rid of this W command here. So if I'm to, well, put it to the W. So W A, press enter. Now it only boils it down to gems spot. Okay. Now similarly, okay, to see things that is let's say before, let's use this before this small gem spot. Um now write the B here and turns out one of the line is empty, the one contains the ML. Now if you want to see the text above or below, well you could use the command of C. So if I write C here, now it shows me the text above or below. So two lines above gems bot and also two lines below. Now, what if I want to find the text in multiple files? For that, I can write this grep command. And let's say I would love to find not just the text, but also the line number. And the text, let's say, is going to be ISON. Okay. Now, since well, this is inside this same. Now, since this is inside the same hierarchy, I can actually write dot and then forward slash. Now, to find it within the same hierarchy, I also need to write the asterisk. Okay, and press enter. Now, it looks like it tried searching on all of the files and folders in this current hierarchy. And this didn't contain it. It's a directory. It says it's in here. It says the form is denied, but it turns out this one right here, info.txt, contained Tyson, and also this uhs.txt also contained the name, and uhs.txt contained two of them, okay, one, one in the line number 11, the other one in the 16, and for this info.txt, it was in the very first line. So we, so we use this asterisk to find for the content in the same hierarchy. What if we want to go inside? Of let's say this thing right you see my file is say it's a directory what if we want to go inside of this and also find it well for that we could well i could use the recursive command so i found n and then the r so either the lowercase or the uppercase r let me use the lowercase okay and then okay get rid of the asterisk okay press enter now you can see it went inside this directory and actually found the text of Tyson and also it found it on few others. Here we use this R command to find the text 
in not just the current hierarchy but also the subdirectories that exist in our folder now we could also see what files contain the specific text okay for that we use the yell command so if i write the yell okay now it boils down to only the files so what files contains this specific text and it well as you can see it's on few of them here now don't worry about this last line of text here i'm actually get rid of this file okay now we could also see how many matches that exist within the file and for example let's say i would love to see how many tyson that exist in all of these files so for that i can use the c command okay and there we go now don't worry about this tss so this is the hidden file that's been shown here now inside of this my files you just have txt there is just one okay and inside of this info i've got one but in this you just txt i've got two of them so you can use this command c to know how many matches of this specific text exist in our file